In the studio, Ralph Winnie is the director of the Euro-Asia Business Coalition and China program at the Euro-Asia Center. He joins us now live to talk about trade and everything else that's uh, good with the world, so to speak. Let's talk about U.S.-China trade. It, it's, it's not a real hot topic necessary because yeah. things are going fairly well, aren't they? Well, I think certainly at the state level, there's very strong uh, support in engaging with the Chinese to bring in uh, Chinese foreign direct investment. We saw in the state of California, just before the Sunnyland Summit, uh, many deals that had been consummated in the areas of R&D, um, education, uh, communications. And that's, I think, what's really driving the, the trade agenda is at the state and local level where the states recognize how important it is to have this kind of funding come into their uh, state and provide jobs and well, economic we, opportunities. We were just talking with the guest <laughs> Booker before we right. came out here about sort of yeah. trade. And it was a real right. basic <laughs> down-to-earth conversation. Right. Is why, why is trade good? Why is global trade good? I mean, I think I know the answer to that. But, but explain to sort of our audience why, why this global trading system is, is a good thing for everybody. Well, I think um, it breaks down barriers, not only on a cultural side, because you can uh, relate to people on a person-to-person -person level, uh, but you're able to provide jobs and economic security if it's done correctly. Um, and I think it's, uh, China and the U.S. can lead the world in promoting uh, global trade and development. Because if our economies do well, it's going to mean other economies are going to just are, are going to naturally follow. What are the two benefit. countries doing that's that's right? I think we're engaging at the highest level. Um, we're both countries are willing to come out and say this is what works, this is what doesn't. Um, but I think the key is to take it beyond just talk and developing the personal relationship to setting up actual business development opportunities so that small and medium-sized companies in the U.S. can get into China and vice versa. Chinese companies can come into the U.S. But the key for the Chinese is they have to know what are the, the barriers to market access in the U.S. And that's been rather unclear, and it's hurt companies like Huawei and ZTE that have tried to come in here to do, to do business. I mean, would you say that's what the two countries are doing that's, that's wrong, or is there something else? Um, I, I think, again, I think the key is to engage. And when you engage at the proper level, um, you've got to be clear about what your objectives are. I think it's important that the U.S. and China focus on setting and creating a bilateral investment treaty. I think there should be agreements on government procurement and intellectual property protection. The, both countries recognize this is important and they're engaging, but we have to take it to the next level uh, and really put some teeth into developing solid uh, agreements. A couple things, quick answers <laughs> here. Protectionism, is it a problem? Uh, it certainly is a problem on both sides. And I, again, I think it's important uh, to really help engage companies that are trying to get in from China into the U.S. and vice versa, U.S. into China. Because those are the people, especially the small and medium-sized companies, they're your ambassadors. They're your people that are there on the ground working in concert. Foreign exchange. Do we worry? I mean, we, there was a time where we were panicked over what the right. yuan was doing on an hour by hour right. basis, but that seems to have kind of calmed down yeah. a bit. Too. I mean, the U.S. still wants um, a market uh, exchange rate um, and is really pushing the Chinese in that direction. Um, certainly, interest rates, and, they, and the U.S. would like an increased dividend payment on state owned companies. If, if you could <laughs> talk to the, the world leaders, and you have a chance here to talk, because I'm, I'm sure the presidents of both countries are watching here. Okay. If you had a chance to talk to both delegations here, okay. what, what would you tell them that you want them to achieve from this visit? Uh, I, I, first of all, I thank them for coming together and talking about important, these important issues. But I, would, I want them to focus on helping small and medium sized companies in both China and the US basically penetrate each other's market and create a system where uh, there's a clear and transparent pr uh, guidelines and mechanisms on both sides so that when the small and medium-sized company penetrates the respective market, they know what the ground rules are and they know how to navigate the system. And more importantly, they have a mentor and a friend in their business partner that's going to help them uh, develop and grow their business. Right. We'll see if um, President Xi and Obama take your advice. If we get a phone call from our bosses, yeah. uh, we'll know why. Ralph Winnie, thank you very much for your analysis. Uh